cherries, billus, tikka, veggies, JCB canteen and so on and so forth versus first floor canteen and a second floor canteen. Now this is the comparison of canteens at IIT versus ISI. So when you are in an IIT and for our case let's take the example of IIT Kharagpur. You have a lot of canteens in the campus and around the campus and those canteens are essentially the lifelines of IITians because most of these canteens have some kind of a weird timing. I still remember that during my IIT days there was a canteen called Chedis. It started in the year 1961 and there are many legends about Chedis. Now if I talk about the other canteens there's a canteen called JCB canteen. I don't know what do they call it now. So it is a canteen which opens roughly around let's say 5 or 6 in the evening and then it uh, goes on till late in the night and maybe I should say early morning. In that canteen the most delicious thing which I had was the fried rice and the second rank belongs to the cheese paratha or the aloo cheese paratha. The reason I really liked the fried rice at JCB canteen was that fried rice was not really like rice or fried rice or noodles because it also had chips on top of it. The flavors it had was really really unique to a canteen. You cannot match that in your home or a restaurant and I still miss that fried rice of JCB canteen. Now the thing about the cheese Alu paratha at JCB canteen was that that cheese alu paratha is the best cheese paratha you can have anywhere in India. I perhaps am ambitious when I say that but I have had cheese paratha in a lot of places in Delhi and Mumbai and still I have not tasted any cheese paratha as good as that JCB canteen's cheese paratha. Now coming to the other canteens, so there was a canteen called Billu's. Now Billu's was like a life savior for a lot of hostel dwellers at IIT. Now Billu's was just like the middle point of a lot of hostels and it was like serving you tandoori rotis, paneer based veggies and it was like the go to eatery when you don't like your mess food. And I still remember that in the beginning days, I used to like Billu's a lot. But then when I started to have Billu's a lot, I got bored of it as well. And then there were a lot of restaurants around the campus as well. So I would not get into the restaurant category or the dhaba category. I just want to restrict myself to the canteen category in this video. So there was a canteen uh, which was just near to the main institute. And that canteen was uh, a kind of a famous meeting spot for people because that canteen like was in the uh, near to the prime hub of institute and there were not very special items in the canteen but the canteen was busy so it was it was difficult to get your order in the canteen you had to fight to get your order now I know there are a lot of canteens in Indian colleges where you'll have the same scenario but I'm just talking about IIT Khadakpur in this video. So in IIT Khadakpur that is that is the busiest canteen. Now it might have changed these days but that was the case when I was there. And towards the end of my IIT days yes I am talking only about canteens but I will still like to mention that there was a, a new wave of restaurants and cafeterias inside the campus and uh, there was a new CCD and that CCD had a uh, kind of like a 50% discount I should not say discount but it was like a subsidy for uh, you like a promotional thing right if my memory serves right for good one year that cafe coffee day outlet served everything at a 50% price now I never realized that that price is 50% until I got out of the campus and then figured out the real price of all the items. I was not used to going to CCD outlets during my student days. So 
yes that was something which was new to me and yes coming back to the canteen examples there were a few other canteens as well which were not that great it was just like just there for people and maybe a lot of other people from my batch or other batches might have stories attached to them but i do not have many stories attached to them and uh, yes i how did i forget it there was a, a, an hostel or a hall called rp hall so the rp hall canteen was famous for serving its uh, dinner so if you have to have like a good dinner like uh, a substitute to your mess dinner then the rp hall canteen was a good substitute and all the halls and hostels have their own canteens as well so yes you can say they are like many hostels and then many canteens then there are common canteens and then there are restaurants outside the campus then the chedi's canteen which i am talking about repeatedly is also outside the campus so this is like a brief snapshot about the cheap eating options or canteens at or near iit now let's go back to iisi for iisi you just have three options to eat one the first floor canteen second the second floor canteen and the third is your hostel mess now i did not use the hostel mess for more than let's say five or six times in my whole two years of stay and the first floor canteen at iisi is something which is very cheap and the second floor canteen is also cheap but not very cheap so what is the rate difference so in the first floor canteen of iisi as i have talked in my previous videos as well you get two rotis for 1 rupee which is like a lot and then you can get like a a, a plate of a curry for like 5 rupees 10 rupees or 15 rupees max to max not more than that and then special items can have like 20 rupees 25 rupees but if i have to tell you uh, what will be the average price of your lunch 10 rupees not more than that and maybe sometimes 20 rupees 30 rupees max to max now if you go to the second floor canteen the prices will go slightly up so maybe a 10 rupees meal in the first floor canteen is equivalent to a 60 to 70 rupees meal in the second floor canteen and usually my uh, meal in the second floor canteen was 35 rupees uh, or 40 rupees and my meal in the first floor canteen was 7 to 8 rupees so you can see 7 rupees 35 rupees was the price of the canteen and that was the only uh, high point of isi canteens but the good thing is that isi canteens uh, were like a substitute for the mess so the taste of those canteens was between like a proper uh, canteen and a mess so i can say if i have to tell you the food experience at iisi versus the food experience at iit iisi will win because though iit has a lot of options to eat around but considering the price factor and uh, the number of things available and then where you eat usually iisi wins because you gravitate towards the first floor or second floor canteen as these are the only two options which you have and the food there is not that uh, boring it it is good it is not something which you will get bored of easily but in an iit you will have to uh, jump on to canteens then mess food then go to eat these outside so you have to uh, choose basically at an iit so it's like a problem of plenty so you have a plenty of choices at an iit and then you'll have to decide where to eat and in iisi you don't have that kind of a choice so ultimately you gravitate towards choice 1 or choice 2 and then both of them are good enough but anyway this is a very basic comparison between the canteen life at iit versus iisi